Hey everybody, Rich, doing a collection update video here on Easter. Got it, changed it up a little bit since I got something new to show you guys here in a minute. Uh, got the little hatchling right down there all set up, ready for babies, getting ready to order another one. There's my new sea serpents, that's my sea serpents hatchling. Got my little... Zoom in. 18 by 18. There's my male crusty right there. And the females back there, if you can see her on the glass. She's hiding. There's my animal plastics rack. And then in the closet, I got the Rat cage for when I got rats left over. Incubator, extra light. Then I got my little, I think it's snake shack rack. That's a 32 quart. This is a 28. That's a CB70. I can't remember. I think that's a shoe box. Anyway, let's check some snakes out. Start in here. Got the male puma. He just shed. He's looking good. Got the little bumble belly I produced. Female. Her and the puma are the smallest snakes I got right now. Next up. We got the albino. Female. I've put that male het albino in here a couple times. She's right there at. 14.99 or something like that right at 15 there she is she needs to upgrade in caves hers is getting a little too small next up we got my female spider she should be grabbing i bring her to the pastel yellow belly Yeah, looks like she's building. Or possibly laying eggs today, because that might be an egg coming out right there. So I'm going to put this back. I knew it was really close to time, guys. That should be the first one, then. I might get some Easter anyway. I was hoping. Next up, we got my 1600 gram fire spider. I tried putting the puma to her, but I don't think he went. But I put the pastel yellow belly. Damn, she's jumping smart. I put the pastel yellow belly with her too. It's the fire spider I produced her a couple years ago. Getting big. Looking good. Sit you down for a minute. That's my hardest tub to push in. All right. I got supplies over here and Cricket Keeper, rat food, transport tubs. All right, we'll start at the bottom. The bottom one's empty. Here's my pastel yellow bellies and shed. Deep in shed. He's a stud. He, anybody I put him in there, he knocks him up. My bumblebee. I tried breeding her this year because she should breed. She's 1,900 grams or something. Um, she quit eating. Started getting all skinny, and I moved her back into the smaller tub and. Stop breeding her and she's pounding rats again, so 
She probably won't go this year. These two are empty. Next up, we got my mean little female Mojave. She's getting pretty big. I think she's about 500 grams or so, 600. Next up, we got my little male head albino. He's getting big. I put him in with a female a couple times, like I said. We got my really mean snake, which is my beautiful snake, my female clown. She's got to be getting set, like 700 grams now. She's getting big. She pounds rats. She eats anything I put in there. She don't like me either. I gotta set you guys down again or I might get bit. Alright. Then I showed you guys them. I got the Raptor Fogger. Go down here to these snakes. I thought this one would be the first one to lay this year. This is my first snake that I ever got. And I think I'm right. I think she's getting ready to lay her eggs right now, too. Maybe two clutches today. That'd be awesome. Her and the spider were the first snakes I ever got. She was first. And then about a couple months later, I got that female spider. Next up. Another one that's ready to pop. It's my female pinstripe. It's her first year. She's huge. All these guys been with a pastel yellow belly. All of them. So I'll get some... Uh, Lemon blast bellies. There we go. And last snake. She's also huge. And that's my big female cinnamon. So she gets some pewter bellies. Looking forward to seeing what them look like. She's getting huge too. Anytime I start breeding all my snakes on Thanksgiving, so that's all them girls. And then we'll show you the new arrival. We'll go over here. And if you can see right there, I got a new crusty. Supposedly it's a female. It's still kind of small. We'll find out. I'm not going to bother it right now. Only had it a week, I'm trying to leave it alone as much as I can. It knocked its plant down last night. Glass is a little foggy yet. There we go. That's her. Got her off Facebook from one of my Facebook groups I'm in. Got it really cheap. Got it and upgraded it to this tank though. It was in a 10 gallon. There it is. Hatchling racks down there. Ready to all set up with new bands, all ready to go. Thanks everybody.